All right, and right now we are going to do a ambient light metering test between the Cyber Commander and the Seikonic L358. In order to do to meter ambient light, uh, you have to go ahead. Well, first you need to read on the Paul's Buff technical forms how to do it. So, I'll, well, I'll quickly show you how to do it now. For so first you need to do go into the third main menu, go to spec lights, and check an empty channel that you aren't using. Uh, sorry, it's bright out here, but let me see if I can get a better angle. There we go. And what you need to do is you need to go to a channel, empty channel, that doesn't have light on it. And you need to go set it as other, and then set it as undefined, which is right there. So once you set it as undefined, it's going to go ahead and dedicate that channel for light metering purposes. Now, what I found between when I wanted to meter ambient light, that the best position to compare these two light meters is when the Cyber Commander is butted head to head with this Iconic. Let me show you. So the best time to meter, or the best spot to meter, is where this black area uh, touches the Cyber Commander. So if I meter right here, I'm getting F8 and 8 tenths and F11. So that's only a two-tenth of a stop difference. So F8 and 9, and F11 and 2. But now when I, I mean, now that I pointed it down, I'm getting F5, 6, and 5 tenths, and F5, 6, and 3. So again, metered again, F5, 6, and 7, F5, 6, and 6. So yeah, let's go meter some more stuff. I took apart my ghetto setup, so I'm gonna have to live with this. So now we're gonna meter again. I'm, in, I'm getting F8, and the Seikonic's metering F5, 6, and 9 tenths, which is pretty much F8 as well. So I just metered again, F5.6 and 8 tenths, and now we're getting F5.6 and 9 tenths. Well, let's keep moving. Uh, let's meter some pebbles for some random objects. So let's go ahead and meter. We're getting F5, 6, and 6 tenths, and the Seikonic is metering F5, 6, and 6 tenths. Again, let's meter again. 5, 6, and 5, 5, 6, and 3, 5, 6, and 4, 5, 6, and 3. So only a tenth of a stop difference. Uh, let's go meter some something in the shade. <clears throat> so these plants are getting F1, uh, less than F1, and the Seikonic is saying F1 and 3 tenths, F4 and 1 tenths. I mean F1 and 4 tenths. Uh, the Cyber Commander, as you can see right here, isn't really metering. Oh, there we go. We're getting F1 and 8 tenths, and the Seikonic is getting F1.4 and 1. So again, the Cyber Commander, I notice, is that it kind of struggles in low light. Uh, if you're trying to meter low light, low ambient light, or just low strobe light, the Cyber Commander kind of has a little, it's a little weak in that area. Whereas the Seikonic is pretty has a bigger sensor and is much more sensitive so there's a advantage for the Seikonic right there. So now we're metering again we're getting f1.4 and 8 tenths and the Seikonic is getting f2 and 7 tenths. Uh, oh, it's hard to do this because right now you can see the sun's hitting right here but if I pull my finger back I'm getting different light exposures. So it's probably not a fair test there. Uh, let's go ahead and meter an open area. This should get us a better comparison. So now we're getting F5, 6, and 7, and F8. And now we're still getting F5, 6, and 9 tenths, and F8 and 1 tenth. So F5, 6, and 9 tenths, in regards to that metering difference, is pretty much F8. So this pretty much concludes the ambient light meter comparison between the Seikonic L358 and the Cyber Commander. And yeah, thanks for watching.